All right, so this is the team division by zero, and our project was the solar UAV. Some of the mission requirements uh, to get us started were to operate uh, above the clouds. And as you can see on the figure on the right, our team took that to assume an operating point of about 65,000 feet above ground level. Um, some other requirements were to take off and land on a quote unquote solid runway, which basically means uh, asphalt or concrete. Also to take off and land over a 35 foot structure um, in both landing and takeoff uh, procedure, and then also to take off and land within 9,000 feet of a max length runway. Also, it needs to be able to fly uh, within icing conditions, uh, as assumed in the 65,000 feet altitude. It needs to be capable of continuous autonomous flight, or basically um, fly continuously without um, needing to land uh, for fuel. And it also needs to meet the FAA 107 requirements uh, for the B Beyond Visual Line of Sight, or BV loss. Um, some mission requirements continued are to carry a payload of a TAMDAR sensor, an FMV camera, and a GPS autopilot system, and also uh, baseline our engine of, uh, for something that's going to be in operation by 2029. Some optional requirements to were to be able capable of withstanding 50 knot uh, gusts and also to carry a high resolution camera. Uh, these were some of the uh, aircraft that we benchmarked for to base our design off of. Um, those were the main ones that met um, similar mission requirements as ours. Uh, the things we benchmarked was uh, wing loading, the payload fraction, the wingspan, the aspect ratio, and the cruise speed. And these are the numbers that we used to base our design. So in order to generate enough lift for our aircraft, we decided to mount our wings at an angle of incidence of six degrees. With the moment that this creates, we had to create an airfoil that would have a low moment coefficient. We went with the Epler 398. It also has a relatively high coefficient of lift, which assists as well, um, as well as having a good laminar flow in the velocity we're requiring. Also, for the moment, we have a V-tail design. Any tail assists in the moment with our angle of incidence. However, the V-tail also has significantly lower drag than a T-tail or the traditional tail design. So as far as materials go, <clears throat> we had a lot of options. Most airplanes are made out of a special grade of aluminum alloy that's both lightweight and very strong. However, for this, for this mission, we needed our aircraft to be as light as physically possible. So we elected to go with carbon fiber on the wings, which is gonna end up costing a little more, but at the end of the day, the weight of the aircraft is more important. For the interior, we could either go with a honeycomb pattern of Kevlar or a polyurethane foam on the interior. The foam would be really nice because it is extremely light and is also a really good insulator. And then we would also be placing ribs and spines along the span for extra support. Uh, we are required to um, power this aircraft by solar power. So um, the solar panels we chose were the, the Alta devices solar panels. Um, they produce approximate 28 kilowatts per hour of sunlight or based off the sunlight and that will recharge the batteries during a 12 hour period. They will be placed along the wing and fuselage. Talking a bit more about insulation, uh, at higher altitudes, temperature drops, and to help ensure our batteries continue to operate at a high level of efficiency, we are planning on using polyurethane foam as an insulator. Uh, the polyurethane foam is lightweight and consists of trapped air bubbles that would help prevent heat loss. Uh, for the autopilot system, uh, we're going to go with the PIX, the PIX 32 V5. Um, the main design requirement we were while we were looking for autopilot systems was the number of servo ports. This one offers 8 to 16 ports, and that will be plenty for any sort of design customization later on in the planning. For the mission planner, we're going to use mission planner software. Um, this allows us to uh, plan and save autonomous missions for the UAV and we can upload it directly to the autopilot system. So it works out really good for us. 
And that is our progress report presentation. Thank you.